problems of Indian economy. There are various factors which contribute to the stage of development of a country. One of the important criteria employed to distinguish a developed from a less developed country is its per capita national income. However, a GNP measure alone is not enough because GNP does not indicate social and economic welfare. The two important problems afflicting the Indian economy and which assumed crucial significance in terms of economic policy have been a poverty, b unemployment. 1. Poverty The concept of poverty is very important to any economy, whether it is an advanced capitalist country or underdeveloped countries like India. It is the per capita national income of a country which determines whether the country is developed or underdeveloped. Poverty can be defined as a phenomenon in which certain sections of the society are not capable of meeting basic needs for their sustenance. In other words, poverty varies between the rural and urban areas. Besides rural and urban, poverty is of two types, absolute poverty and relative poverty. The trends in poverty of rural and urban population of India there is an overall decline of rural poverty in all its dimensions for the period between 1970 to 71 and 1989 to 90. There was a sharp increase in 1992 compared with 91. Urban poverty in all its dimensions has declined from 1970 to 71 to 86 to 87. It declined sharply in 1989 to 90 and remained unchanged through 90 to 91 and increased marginally in 1992. Some important poverty eradication programs are National Rural Employment Program, Rural Labor Employment Generation Program, Swarna Jayanti, Gram Samriddhi Yojana, Jawahar Gram Samriddhi Yojana, etc. Unemployment The problem of unemployment is common to both the developed and underdeveloped countries. The pattern and degree of unemployment may vary, of course, from country to country depending on the stage of development and the level of industrialization. Unemployment is defined as the stock of all those individuals who are not gainfully employed in any productive work or who are unable to find work at the prevailing real wage rate. Generally, two types of unemployment are distinguished, involuntary unemployment and voluntary unemployment. Involuntary unemployment refers to a situation where the individuals are prepared to undertake jobs at the prevailing wage rate but do not find jobs. In this sense, the phenomenon of unemployment as most commonly understood implies involuntary unemployment. Voluntary unemployment rises because individuals prefer not to work for reasons of efficiency or leisure or their expected wage rate. If employed, is much higher than the existing market wage rate. This situation is more akin to the developed market economies than to the underdeveloped countries. Underemployment Underemployment is of two types. A. When a worker is employed at the prevailing wage rate but which cannot earn him income sufficient enough for himself and his family for the survival. B. When a worker has skills much higher than required in the sector where he is employed and hence his accepted wage rate falls short of the required wage rate. Measures to promote employment the Government of India has been reviewing the conditions of employment from time to time and has set up various committees to suggest measures to solve the problem of unemployment and underemployment. A number of employment generation programs such as Rural Works Program RWP, Marginal Farmers and Agricultural Laborer Scheme, Small Farmers Development Agencies and so on are launched. Regional Disparities India is not alone in experiencing regional imbalances. Even the most advanced country like the United States of America is striving with regional disparities between the developed North states compared to the underdeveloped Southern states. Various measures have been adopted from time to time to reduce regional imbalances. Important among them are identification in development of backward areas, rural industry projects, industrial estate programs. Inflation. Inflation is one of the major macroeconomic issues which has assumed importance in the economic policy making. Inflation is a state in which there is a sustained rise in general level of prices accompanied by a fall in the value of money. 
when inflation exists in the economy the volume of money exceeds the value of goods and services hence the dictum too much money changes too few goods aptly describes the inflationary situation generally two types of inflationary situations are distinguished a demand pull and cost push a demand pull inflation occurs when the aggregate demand rises continuously due to increase in investment expenditure public and private or both which may result in sustained rise in general price level a cost push inflation on the other hand occurs when a sustained rise in the general price level is caused due to an autonomous increase in cost education as regards the elementary education system in india stands second in the world with 151 million children enrolled in 1994 to 95 in the age group of 16 to 14 year the number of primary schools has also increased from 2.1 lakh in 1950 to 51 to 5.9 lakh in 1995 to 96 these changes have contributed in raising the overall literacy rate from 18.3% in 1951 The literacy rate has been estimated 65.38 in 2001 out of 75.85 in males and 54.16 in females. Health. Health is an important sector. However, the plan outlay for health is not in consonance with the general requirements of the needy population. The health for all strategy is changes to health for underprivileged. Transport. Transport sector is crucial to any economy because it helps widen the market for goods and services by connecting remote parts of a nation. Transport facilities mobility of men and materials needed for production. Power. Electric power is an essential energy component required in agriculture, industry, transport and household sectors. In modern world it is the basis for almost all types of activity. Power generation takes place in three ways: hydroelectricity, thermal, and nuclear, about which you have already studied in detail. There is need to augment public investment in the power sector and plug the slippages from all ends. Housing. Housing is essential for human being. The government has a crucial role to play in this sector. Since housing is primarily a state subject, center oversees broad policy formulation. implementation of social housing scheme particularly for the weaker sections of the society irrigation irrigation contributes to rapid agricultural progress in an economy the country's irrigation potential has increased from 22.6 million hectares in 1950-51 to 86 million hectares in 1993-94 the classification of irrigation schemes in india has been on the basis of cost since 1951 until 1978 to 79 which you have already studied in geography